Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to the Dagelman Farm. Uh, thanks for watching. We're going to work on our fire truck again today. We've got the solar panel now, so I think we're going to get that rigged up today, and maybe this thing will actually even work before the day is over. But let's give it a try. And of course, Ricky's going to help me. Right, Ricky? Well, for starters, we got to get, we're going to put the deep cycle battery in. That goes down there. So we're going to flip the cab up. As we did in a previous video, you saw us flip the cab up. We're going to do that again. We're going to install the solar panel here in this window. And the controller, there's a place we can mount the controller, I believe. There's a panel here that lifts up. Here's the controller. I think we're going to mount this right to the side of the heater. A couple little self-drilling screws, we'll have that mounted. Um, there's a panel here that lifts up that I think we can get from the battery to get the wires up to up into here, and we'll have all our junction and all that stuff will be right underneath here. Again, this doesn't get driven or anything like that. It's just for looks. Um, but yeah, let's uh, keep working on this and... Let's see what happens. There's three locks to flip in the cab. You got to flip that up. And you got to pull this bottom lever. It's a little difficult to show you here. Hopefully, you, I guess you aren't going to be able to really even see because I need two hands to do this. But you pull this lever the bottom one and you lift the cab part way then you got to pull the second lever and the cab comes up the rest of the way then you got to flip this little lock there so now we can get we can get that deep cycle battery deep cycle battery goes in down there so we'll work get that in got that on the back of the cart here so there the battery's going to go in the holder these won't actually get connected to the battery because that's going to be our power out. So we're going to need to run a small cable from the battery into the cab through that little door into the cab to the regulator from the regulator back out to these cables, the positive and the negative back out to these cables and then a third wire then goes from the solar panel to the regulator. Yeah, so I think that's gonna work. Okay, let's uh, open that up. We're gonna open the cab up. We might work with the cab up like this. It gets a little hard to let the door lean. Oh yeah, that'll work just fine. So we'll work with the cab tipped up like this at an angle. I think our first step, it says on the regulator, the order, it matters which, which order you hook up the connections. It says, connect to battery first, connect to the load, which would be our wires that normally would connect to the battery, and then lastly, you connect the solar panel. So, and it shows on here there's Four, or three sets of wires, solar panel, battery, and load. And then there's lights telling you that everything's hooked up right. So let's uh, connect the battery firstly. Okay, we want to get this guy mounted where I'm going to mount him, right here. There's nothing in there, it's just a heater housing. So we'll just put a couple little self-drilling screws in there to hold that up. 
and then we'll get started on the actual wiring. I'll have to run get some self-drilling screws. thing working breaker 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 oh yeah okay I think I got most things I'll need it I got some different terminal connectors which I'll need uh, to connect onto the battery and a few of the other connections I can't find my pliers for crimping those terminals I might have put them Sam's got my I'm the worst ever at uh, putting stuff somewhere. I can't remember where the heck I put it. Yeah, they're not in here. I think they might be in my tool bag for electrical stuff, which I gave Sam. He's doing some work for Jane at the daycare today, changing out some lights and stuff. So he took my, my electrical bag, and I think I may have put them in there. But I can use, I believe this will work, to crimp those terminals. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing so let's uh first off let's get that regulator mounted up there wow that's hard i'm gonna have to pre-drill those holes it looks like Dirty bugger. There, we have the regulator mounted. Now we're, it says to hook up. Hook up battery first. So here's our battery leads. Okay, we'll run that down through that panel in the floor. We'll run that down here now. There. Now we'll put them on the battery. Put the positive on first. Now, let's go turn, even though we don't have the solar panel hooked up, we should have our lights working. Let's go find out. And we have lights, I believe. And lights work. Those flashing lights, we don't need those flashing lights on. I don't want them on. Those lights work. So there, that's, now we can hook up the solar panel itself. So here's what we got. We got a two watt solar panel. It's not, it's rated weather resistant, which I would assume it can get a little wet, but it can't be exposed to weather, which is fine for how we're gonna use it. I'm gonna put it right in this window here maybe resting on there so the weight sits on that window sill. This window faces south. This window faces south, so if I put it right here, that should work. The weight can rest on there. And this door faces south. <laughs> and that's on there pretty good. <laughs> Oh, we'll find out. Okay, well now you can see this this solar panel. Yeah, that feels pretty solid. I'm not gonna say this ain't going nowhere because that never turns out. But it's got its own cord here. We'll get, and then they send it with this cord that plugs into that. So we have to use that plug pretty much. So we'll hook that together. And our light is on on the regulator. 
and it shows, I believe that light is on. Yeah, it looks like it. It shows the solar panel, the battery one is for sure on. I believe that one, because even when I block that off, I want to make sure that's actually showing. Oh yeah, even when I close that off, I can see a little light there. So I think that one's working. Let's go turn the lights on and see if that load light comes on. Well, that load light's on, but it, but it's working. So we know it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm just not so 100% sure on the, I'm not so 100% sure that the solar panel, and actually with the door open like that, maybe it's not facing the sun. That might face the sun better. Yeah, those lights appear to be working. There's our, our solar panel coming in, that's lit up. Battery, that's definitely lit up. And our load. And our load is lit up. Well, that's about it for now. We'll, uh, I got a few things to pick up, a couple little things to do to clean up. We'll come back after dark, see how these lights look after dark. It's kind of difficult to see now, but after dark, it'll look pretty cool. So, see you after dark. How's it going, everyone? I'm Sam. And I'm Ashton. And Dad finally got the fire truck all done and lit up. Uh, we just came out here to show you the final, pretty much the final look at it uh, at dark. So we got headlights working, uh, the signals, flashers, uh, the, all the cab lights above and the revolving lights do work. Uh, but the how much electricity all these lights do pull, uh, it does not like it when you turn those on with all the other lights. Um, we have the back flashing lights working as well and he also got all the control lights working on this side as well showing all the gauges and everything with also the one interior light working Well, I think that's going to do it on today's episode at the Degelman Farm. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and like down below, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Bye. A few moments later. Well, how's it going, everyone? Uh, a couple days ago, we had like 25, 30, 40 mile an hour winds. Uh, we didn't think anything got broken, and just after dad got the fire truck fixed. We had a pallet in the bed of the fire truck. I can't even pick it up. But the pallet in the bed of the fire truck and it was sitting. I'll show you here. It was sitting right on top of here came up and must have caught it just right, flipped it up, and busted both of these lights right here. Both these bar lights are totaled. I don't know if we'll replace them back up. Looks like it tore some wiring down here. The main bubble light looks fine. Uh, just the plastic that was broke. So we should be able to fix that. We'll order a new bubble light today. Um, get a new one of those and see if we can find any more of those bar lights. I don't know if we'll be able to or not. And then I'll try to get that all fixed. Get that going for you guys. Yeah, that was pretty disappointing coming out uh, this morning and seeing that, but we'll get her back to the way she was and get that pallet moved out of there and everything else.